Thank you very much. Appreciate you here, coming here. I'm pleased to announce my decision to nominate Ambassador John Negroponte as Director of National Intelligence. The Director's responsibility is straightforward and demanding. John will make sure that those whose duty it is to defend America have the information we need to make the right decisions. John understands America's global intelligence needs because he spent the better part of his life in our foreign service and is now serving with distinction in the sensitive post of our nation's first ambassador to a free Iraq. In the war against terrorists who target innocent civilians and continue to seek weapons of mass murder, intelligence is our first line of defense. If we're going to stop the terrorists before they strike, we must ensure that our intelligence agencies work as a single unified enterprise. Look forward to, look forward to their conclusions and look forward to uh, working with... ...of whether you believe Syria bears some responsibility well, for the assassination. I, I, I can't tell you that. I don't know yet because the investigation is ongoing. Um, there, and so I, I'm going to withhold judgment until we find out what the facts are. You know, hopefully by the time I get overseas, we'll have a, be a clearer understanding of, of, uh, of who killed uh, Mr. Harari, and it'll be an opportune time to talk with our friends uh, to determine what to do about it. Uh, but uh, it's important that this investigation go on in a, you know, a thoughtful way, and I'm convinced it will. We supported the international. Would you like it to be? He said he hadn't either. Um, we have, uh, our people have, well, first of all, Iran has made it clear they, uh, you know, they uh, they don't like Israel, to put it bluntly. And uh, the Israelis are concerned about uh, whether or not Iran develops a nuclear weapon, as are we, as should everybody. And so the objective is to solve this issue diplomatically, is to work with uh, friends like we're doing with uh, France, Europe, and uh, I mean France, Germany, and uh, and Great Britain to continue making it clear to the Iranians that uh, <coughs> developing a nuclear weapon will be unacceptable. Uh, but I've got great confidence in both those leaders to bring forth a very, uh, you know, issues of human rights, human dignity, and freedom are, are the core of our very being as nations. Those differences at times, frankly, cause us to talk past each other. And I recognize that, and I want to make sure the Europeans understand I know that. And that is we move beyond the differences of the past that um, we can work a lot together to achieve uh, big objectives. There's also a concern in Europe, I suspect, that the only thing I care about is, 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 uh, is our national security. And clearly, uh, you know, since we had been attacked, and uh, I fear there's a, you know, there's a, a terrorist group out there thinking about attacking us again, or would like to, that national security is at the top of my agenda. That's what you'd expect from the President of the United States. But we also care deeply about hunger and disease, and I look forward to working with the Europeans uh, on hunger and disease. Appreciate it.